It's kind of like trial and error. We don't have much wind out tonight. It's very mild, so it's a good time for trying to uh, get the technique right. Anyway, enjoy! You ready? All right. Oh! Ay, ay, ay! You heard that again? Follow it, follow it, follow it around. Follow it around. Whee! All right, so here's the squirrel. I used Darcy's wings. See, there's Darcy. But uh, that's because I broke mine just five minutes ago. The balsa snapped, so we're trying this one. Okay. Here we go. Whoa! 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 So I asked myself just now, why did it go into circles? And then I realized I had put the, uh, the wings on backwards. See that little piece of balsa right there? That has to be at the front. So hopefully this test run will be a little bit better. It's going up. Whoop! Last flight, it went straight up in the air, so I figured that the wings were a little too far forward. So I put the wings just slightly more back. You can see the distance they're back there now. Okay, so here's the next test flight. Whoa! Uh, that didn't work. Obviously, I pushed them too far back because the plane went down. So I pushed them a little bit further forward, but not quite as much as before, and we'll see what they do. All right, this is how I store my squirrels. I've got a shoe box here. Make sure that we take the elastic off the, uh, the wings there. They sort of stack pretty well. I guess I should make sure that this elastic isn't stuck all together. Let it have a chance to go back to its original shape. And it gets put in a safe place. Ah, next time I want to fly them, take them out, put them together. Notice I have quite a few spare sets of wings here so that if while I'm flying, if one breaks, I just replace it with another one. So I've got enough spares that I can keep going. All right, enjoy your squirrels.